Okay. So uh, now, uh, as I told you that I will take a square ninja as a case study. So goal, basically, you know, uh, for deciding a goal, there are three major important pillar of the goal. Okay. As you as you can see into the site, one is investment. Okay. How much you are going to invest. Second is the revenue. And third one is that how much profit you are expecting. Okay. So if you have some of your own, start into thinking this perspective. Okay. How much investment you can do or how much investment is required. Okay. How much revenue you are expecting and actually how much profit you are expecting. Okay, I have divided revenue and profit in two separate uh, uh, vertical because sometimes you are getting the revenue but you are not getting the profit or maybe after some time you are expecting the profit. You are getting, uh, you are running into the negative uh, revenue. Okay, so, so now uh, here I have taken the case study of our uh, 60 days internet marketing program. Okay, so now for for if you become the pro member uh, into this program then you are getting one affiliate link for this whole program okay and those uh, with the help of that particular affiliate link okay you can grab the lead and students or under you more pro member students can uh, you know can enroll into the whole system okay so uh, suppose for example Okay, I'm giving this a Square Ninja example, maybe you can treat this as in your own business or in your own uh, product, you can uh, uh, translate it later, okay. So now, so suppose for the pro membership, you have to pay $100 for a year. So this is your one investment, okay. Now, what can be my another investment and i think this is a common investment if you are doing the internet marketing okay you need hosting okay you need your website okay a uh, lot of people are asking me that even can we run this internet marketing uh, without you know having a website so i say yeah of course you can run but what you are coming into the internet marketing. So what is your goal? You have uh, long term goals or you have short term? You you are here for the long term or you are here for the short term? So 90% people are saying no, we are here for the long term. So if you are here for the long term, then definitely it's, it's because your own website is going to give you more credibility and, uh, and authority. Okay. So yeah, then if you uh, if you don't have your website right now, so it it may cost you forty nine or fifty dollar for a whole year hosting domain name. Okay, you can you have to take a domain name also, and some small small tools also is required. Basically, I have suggested most of the tools are free. Okay, like uh, autoresponder. This mailer light tool is free up to 1000, but if you are going with beyond 1000, you have to pay some amount. Similarly, the content mark, uh, suppose if you are not very good in writing the articles or content, okay, you can go to the content mark and you can hire the freelancer, okay. So that also will cost you, uh, depends on you. There, if you talk about in Indian rupees, they, they can start 40 paisa okay uh, per word or it will go to one rupee or three rupees per word. so it's totally but that is option if, if you want someone else uh, write your content okay sorry so so there are some other two languages and some other highly costly tools are also available but in the beginning we should always start with uh, you know uh, free resources and later when you are uh, when we are seeing some traction so we will uh, try to keep you know enhance our tools okay so uh, suppose for hundred dollar I'm just giving a uh, roughly figures okay it may be more or less okay 
it's totally up to you. So suppose for $100, uh, I've invested on the tools, website, hosting, okay, all these things, and that is also, I think, maybe yearly. And I have put $200 for the marketing or advertising. Suppose I have to run the Facebook ad, okay, or some other kind of ad, Google AdSense or any any paid media I'm talking about if, if I have to run the paid media ad. So suppose for that I've taken $200 for that, okay. So uh, what I want this 60 days or if my plan is for 60 days or 90 days, so my investment I have to put suppose $400. Of course, few things we have invested for the whole year, okay, but we are investing those things into this uh, uh, 60 days, so I've just taken as this should be my uh, total investment. So suppose my total investment is $400, okay. Now come to the profit section, okay. Uh, we'll come to the revenue later. Or, so profit section is that, okay, now I want one, I want to earn $1,000, okay. I want to earn $1,000 in this 60 days or whatever days you are set. Okay, so it means what should be my revenue? My revenue should be $1,400, correct? Because whatever is I'm earning in revenue minus this investment, that will be my profit, right? So my profit should be $1,000, but for this, I'm targeting that I should basically earn $1,400 in this particular time frame. Okay, so this is my, I'm just trying to, you know, building my base of, uh, of, uh, of my goal setting. Okay, so th this is one. So if you come to the next slide, okay, now 